what pros wear. Uh, we just focus on the gear. We want to know, you know, what do you wear, uh, why you wear it, and uh, we can start with the money maker, the gloves. What do you got for a glove, and why do you wear it? Yeah, so uh, I'm with Rawlings now. Uh -huh. uh, in college, I was with Wilson, but uh -huh. then uh, once once I got drafted, you know, I decided to change it up a little bit. Uh -huh. Go with Rawlings, and uh, you know I've loved it since. Yeah. So, um, difference between Rawlings and Wilson that you found? Uh, I mean, I think it's just all just a preference. Um, and you know, in college, we were Wilson, a Wilson team at first, and so uh, I got gloves there, and uh, you know, I really liked them. But um, you know, once I got to uh, Pro Bowl, uh, I kind of like wanted to venture out a little bit. And, yeah. Um, you know, Rawlings, I've heard you know, some of the best in the game, so of course. Uh, you know, I wanted to give it a shot and see what that was all about. And, um, and yeah, so I decided to go Rawlings. Uh, this What's the is, pattern here? Uh, just basic, um, you know, tan leather, black lacing. Uh, got the name imprinted on it. Anything particular about like the the mo like the the model, the pattern, like? It, 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 Not really. It's hard to hide. Uh, so, um, you know, for infielders. Uh, a lot of people you choose hard of the hide over pro preferred, uh, easier to break in, a um, little looser leather. Um, you know, it doesn't may not last as long, but it definitely gets the job done and yeah. uh, you know perfect for uh, being soft but not too soft and um, hard but not too hard. So <laughs> it, it's a perfect yeah. in between. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, so do you have any? So, uh, yeah, we got, so this is my game glove yeah. I'm using right now, and then uh, same glove, back of glove. Uh, brand new in there, and then uh, just to mess around. Uh, it's how you get like an outfield glove just to mess around Ooh, with. Yeah, you got so. that. Uh, I, I think, what's do you know what that one's called? Uh, we can check, we can check. That thing is sick, man. This is so nice. I think that's the gold glove series. Yeah, that's the, that's yeah, okay. the, the, the top of series. the top of the line. Yeah. That, that leather feels like. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is nice. I, I haven't really put it on yet, so actually, this is the first time putting it on. Yeah. So you're just going to mess legit. around with it, just a little shag yeah. glove? Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm jealous. You know, we're not taking ground balls in the infield. Uh, get some fly ball reads when... And you're a second baseman or shortstop? Uh, second baseman. Second baseman. Um, I switched back and forth between like a 11 and a quarter and 11 and a half. Uh -huh. uh, last season I used 11 and a quarter. This season I'm going to use 11 and a half. Yeah, kids yeah, really were. Kids really like... I'm always getting questions yeah. about what the size of the glove mm -hmm. is. So. Why 11 and a quarter, or, you know? Yeah, so I mean, for the middle of the infield, second base shortstop, you really want to use a smaller glove. Um, you want a quicker chance for, for double plays, relays. Um, so like, you know, with a larger glove, it, it might be a little difficult to, to get out. Uh, third basemans, I know a lot of third basemen use like 11 three quarters or uh, 12 inches. I uh, like a little bit bigger glove. Um, it's more for, uh, you know, they don't have to, you know, transfer the ball as quick or anything like that. So whoever can give them the most range um, yeah. to work with. And then, um, yeah, and then outfield gloves are, you know, up in 12 and a half, 12, 12 three quarters. Yep. So I've heard even guys that are pushing the limits as to what's allowed. I've heard like yeah. 13 and a half, yeah. <laughs> are, you know, softball type gloves out yeah, there, definitely. which it's like, if the ball goes in the glove, mm -hmm. what's it matter? Mm -hmm. And then I got a little... Little trainer, uh, it's nine and a half inches. And why that? Why do you use uh, that? I like I take to I like to take ground balls with this in practice and batting practice. Um, just kind of a sense where you get to know where your hands at, um, you get more handsy with the ball, and uh, you know less or more room for error. So it really makes you focus on getting down, um, getting the hands out there, and you know seeing the ball in the glove. Yeah, yeah, so I see it. Just kind of like mess around with this too. And all the best infielders yeah. use uh, yeah. trainers. You know, a lot of people use like the pancake glove as yep. well yep. Um, to make sure that, you know, they're using both hands. So Both um, hands, soft hands. Exactly. But yeah, I, I definitely see the value of having a shorter glove because mm -hmm. when you're in the game and you make that diving play mm -hmm. or whatever, you exactly. get, it's, it's going to be there. Exactly. Yeah, sometimes I, I get like, I forget to have the short glove on. I'm like, oh, balls I'm just missing. I'm like, oh, wait, you know. Um, you know, with a normal glove, I'd be able to get that. And that's exactly why you use it. Mm -hmm. So that, exactly. you know, uh, you, you realize you need to exactly. kind of overcorrect yeah. and make sure it's in your hands. Definitely. Um, how about your uh, your cleats? Let's do your cleats. Yeah, so uh, I have a deal with Adidas. Uh -huh. uh, you know, ever since I got drafted, I, I loved Adidas. Uh, college, I was Adidas, and um, I could really tell that, you know, they're up and coming. You know, some really cool stuff on the field and off the field. So um, those were kind of like... Well, I had my mind set on at that point. Yeah. And, um, what, what school did you go to? UC Irvine. 
UC Irvine, yeah. So we're a big Adidas school, and, um, and I just kind of fell in love with it there. Um, and you got... Uh, so Police-wise, right now, I have kind of a little bit of everything. Um, and then I have the Adi Zeros as well, um, but Icon Bounces, uh, these are really comfortable, um, a lot of room, uh, uh, it, it makes me you know, feel good on the plate and on the field, and um, they're not too bulky, not too light, so it's kind of kind of a in, nice in-between and um, yeah. you know, really you know, stylish as well, so big yeah. fan of these. Um, I also like the, the Addy Zeros. I like that for the Addy Zeros when I feel a little fast, <laughs> feel a little extra fast on the base pass and, right, uh, and right. all that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, those, uh, you had the bounce there and you had the uh, boost. Yeah. Have you, do you have a preference between those two? Uh, I like the I like the boost. Yeah. Boost icons a little bit better. Um, I like, I've, I've kind of like wider feet too, so it has a little extra room for there for me as well, but um, the bounces are really comfortable as well, so I like to practice in those, uh, make sure, you know, get my feet under myself and all that, but, um, but yeah, my, my go-to are probably the, the icon bounces. And how about uh, your bat? The bats, I swing, I'm gonna swing Chandler. Um, in high school, uh, I started first swinging Chandler bats and you know, I fell in love with the wood and um, kind of like when you start swinging the best, you can't go away from it. And yep. um, when you find what works. Yeah, exactly. So I've uh, been working with Chandler ever since uh, you know, I got drafted and uh, can't thank him thank, thank enough for you know all they've done for me. And, um, so what's the, it's a, is bat. it 271? Is that what I'm, I'm so saying? So it says 271, but it's a little modified. Uh -huh. um, it's kind of modified for me. It's a little of a thinner handle than 271, uh -huh. um, and then a little bit of bigger barrel than 271. Um, and I kind of like a bigger, bandle, uh, bigger barrel, uh, thinner handle, thinner knob, but also I don't want it to be too end heavy or anything like that. Uh, so we got 33 and a half, 31 and a half. Ash, maple, what it? Maple. Maple, maple yeah. Have you, ever, have you ever, like, mixed in other wood types or maple is the uh, You know, I've tested others, uh, like ash or birch, um, but, you know, I've always been a fan of maple, you yep. know, the hardest wood, and um, I really like feeling the, you know, the ball off the bat, like oh, solid yeah. contacts and all that, yeah. so. Yeah, in the, the rare moments I hit a ball hard uh -huh. with it, with maple, it feels exactly. really good. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Am I missing anything? What, we got the bat, we got the glove, we got the cleats. Uh, How about, uh, I guess you got the, yeah, I mean, that's that's about it. How about in the clubhouse, like these guys here? Who's Who's got the best swag? Who's the guy you're best, like? Best swag on the team, huh? Um, Corey has some pretty cool stuff. He's with Jordan. So he, he likes to wear his Jordan Nike cleats. He's up there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Yelich has a lot of you know nice Under Armour cleats that are pretty cool. Yep. It um, helps when you're the MVP. And, yeah, you know, yeah, you, when you have MVP. That's, that's a little swag bit more in perks. itself. Exactly. Um, JJ, he, he's a he's an Adidas guy, so he he definitely you know, styles out on the field. Yep. Um, let's see. You guys actually have like the nicest clubhouse I think I've been in. Is this a, yeah. is this this clubhouse is amazing? Yeah, isn't it really nice? Oh yeah. Um, I have one more question for you. Just as you know, for kids growing up, like, was there ever a point where you doubted yourself? Like, you thought, I, I don't think I can. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't think I'm gonna make it. What was that moment? And then how did you get past it? Um, it wasn't more so of. You know, I wasn't gonna make it. Um, it was more so of you know whatever happens happens. Um, you know, if I can give my best attitude and effort um, in every single game, uh, then you know everything will play out in the end of, end of the end of the day. So, um, you know, in high school, I was a highly recruited guy. Only had uh, two offers uh, in a walk-on spot. Um, so, you know, I wasn't like a big name high school player. You know, I had a bunch of teammates and friends from other teams and other schools, um, you know, committing to, to big Division I schools and getting looks from professional scouts. Um, it didn't really frustrate me. You know, for Maria, it was, you know, I knew the type of player I was. Um, 
you know, if a team wants me, then they'll want me, and um, I'm not gonna force myself upon anyone or, or change who I am you know, as a person or as a player uh, just for that um, satisfaction. So for me, it was just play the game I know, play the game I love. Uh, you know, I was still a little kid, and uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. You know, if a team wants me, they'll want me. Um, you know, having me see Irvine, you know, that was one of my schools where you know I could envision myself playing, and uh, so I committed there. Had a great three years there, and um, you know, on to professional baseball. So, um, you know, for me, it was just sticking to it, sticking to what I know I do best, and. Um, you know, whatever kind of happens, happens. Go with the flow kind of deal. Yeah.